Looking at seven-day forecast, it's going to be pretty nice. Temperatures will be into the uh, low 70s for Super Bowl Sunday and for the golf tournament, and then it warms up into the upper 70s. So get the barbecue out. Make sure you got propane, like uh, Mike Chamberlain said. You got to have the propane <laughs> unless you're doing it the old-fashioned way with the coals. Well, wouldn't that be sad? You get all the food out there, you go to light it, it doesn't hook up. You, it's oh, happened. Man, it's happened. Then you got to go over to the neighbor's house and do it. It's a mess. Uh, I know. That's right. And uh, John, uh, you got you got the ribs in there, and, and you're doing that. chicken, right? We're doing some chicken now. Uh, I've got Got some uh, tenders, and we're gonna do them uh, basically a, like boneless chicken, uh, buffalo chicken. We got the nice. This is a hot, hot buffalo sauce. sauce. Yeah. It it says it's hot, but it's not overly hot. Okay, so you don't have to be super brave. No. We're talking to a barbecue guy. He knows his his level of hot's way right, up there. Right, his threshold a little bit. Plus, plus, when you dip it in the, in the blue cheese sauce, it it makes a good compliment to it. Nice. Cools okay. it off a little bit. So we we've just taken some chicken, marinated in a little uh, seasoning. Grill them on the grill. We'll take them off. Put a little sauce on them. They'll be ready to go. Okay. How long? Uh, what do you put for the marinade? Uh, in here, I used actually um, a mesquite rub on them, so I could get a little wood flavor from the from the seasoning on them, and just marinated them overnight. A lot of these things that we're talking about for your party, you can do them ahead Saturday, so that your actual cooking time on the grill can Smart be greatly planning. reduced. Okay. So it's. She's holding the marinated chicken, isn't that? I know. It, good to keep it in a Tupperware. I also do Ziploc baggies. Yep. Kind of holds it nice for you. Okay. Either way, whichever is more comfortable for you to use. <laughs> I see you got the beer over here this morning, too. Well, in, <laughs> that was for the broth, right? In, in this case, beer, <laughs> beer is not a beverage, it's a condiment. Oh, I wish you told me that <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Explain that. Tell the truth. Because we, we use the beer actually to cook the onions and the kraut. That, oh, okay. we put, that we put on the bronze. Oh, okay. Remember that one. Remember that one. Yes. Uh. Beer is a condiment. Don't use it right. too much. And by the way, all these recipes that we've had all morning long for two and a half hours are on our website, kpho.com. We put them there for you because a lot of you are having parties on Sunday. You may not quite know which, which tack you're going to take yet. We're going to save your party for you on Sunday. And Mike, I think a lot of these uh, barbecue things might make it on Chamberlain's Choices, huh? Uh, I kind of been around, but I hope... Well, I hope not. Let me put it that way, because we do have Chambo's Choices this morning. And this morning, we're going to pay tribute to our four-legged friends. They caught our attention from Monday through Friday. But you know what? We are barbecuing up some delicious Ooh, food. Yeah. And um, everyone's been kind of going through and picking what they want out of here. There is still some food. I'm right here with the aroma here. It's for your Super Bowl Sunday barbecue. Mike's grabbing a plate here. We're going to stay here with all the goodies. And uh, we watch out with Psycho. that knife there. We'll oh. be back with more. Oh, look stay at that. Look at that. Woo.